Hey everybody, Grins here. Well, we're doing the uh, number four video of the teardown. Got to get the uh, 76 shovel head transmission out. So now we're going to tear out the primary cov uh, back cover. And uh, we're going to leave the starter in it. I just took out the oil bag. And we're going to leave the starter solenoid attached. And we're going to see if we can get this out. See what else we run into. I disconnected my oil lines. And uh, here we go. Let's see. I got a few more nuts to take off here. And... Uh, and we can check the, get the transmission out next, open it up and see what we want to do with it, whether it's going to be rebuilt or we're just going to put it on the shelf for another time and get a different one. Seems like uh, the main shaft bearing is pretty solid, so I wouldn't have to replace that. I don't think if I rebuilt it, it, it might leak a little oil. The oil seal might be bad. Should probably replace the oil seal if I'm gonna but I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the primary cover or back plate back on or think about doing a belt drive with an open belt maybe start to chopper it out a little maybe get rid of this gas tank and wiring and just start simplifying it so next time I have to tear it apart maybe it won't be such a hassle I can get to everything but I kind of like to somewhat originalness of it. I know it's not the original tins, so it's already been played with. So, uh, I think I got all the bolts I need out. It's probably just stuck on there. Oh, no, wait, yep, no, it looks like I do got a couple more. Looks like I got at least one up front here. I don't know if um, the shifter lever is in the way of that or not. Let's see here. Dang it, I might need to take that out. I had a feeling I was supposed to. I've just been somewhat trying to not take the whole bike apart, but pretty soon the bike's going to be all in pieces here. Might have a basket case for sale. You never know. Either that or a box of a 76 shovel head in the basement. Someday people will find it. Be like, what the heck? How come this guy never put this bike back together? How come he just went and bought a new bike? Oh, it looks like I got another one down there too. Oh, I think that one was loose. Yeah, that is the wrong size. Wrong size, that one's a half inch. So I think I, that one's part of the, it looks like that one needs to come off and then hopefully this thing will just fall off. Either that or I'm gonna have to whack it with a hammer. And then I gotta make sure I keep track of all this stuff. Try to remember where it goes. How can I get to this? Oh, I do know I have an extension swivel I just bought. Let me see. I think I need to take those wires off just in case. Actually, I think those go to the brake. Yeah, I think those go to the brake line. Brake light switch. Yep. Maybe I could leave those. 
expect and you're expecting. A tape major. Learning the lingo. G-O-A-T. Acronym. Stands for greatest of all time. As in spaghetti sandwiches for dinner? They're my fave. Dad, you're the GOAT. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit Never seen a bike from the same to the angle before. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Okay, I ended up taking the, the shifter bracket, shifter lever and connecting thing off. Still can't get quite enough room in there. I uh, should take this off, but that's connected to the kickstand. So I don't have a lift, so I need my kickstand. So I am going to just use A short socket and I should be able to get it out enough and then use a wrench to take it out and then back this off it should fall down hopefully and then I can take this all off so let's see here let's see here I like to make it a foot clutch, the suicide shift. Take off some stuff off the handlebars. And kind of always thought that would be cool and fun. Except for I heard when you stop, you want to lean to your right foot. And that's my bad foot, so that ain't going to work out too well. But we'll see. More than likely, I'll probably just put it back the way it is. It was. It'll take a lot longer. But we'll see. Still not sure. I always wanted to make it into a chopper, but this would be the good start. Okay, it's starting to come loose now. What else is, do I need to take off? The front's coming off. I see the wash or the O ring starting to move. Aha. I think that keyway that I couldn't get out needs to come out. I couldn't get that keyway out. I thought the transmission would slide over it, but it looks like I need to take that guy out. So let's So yeah. Let's see here. I was hoping I could take that out later, but it's starting to look like it wants to come out now. That bearing must be attached to the primary. So that bearing seems to be good. I think the oil seal might be bad. I was not able to get this out earlier, but let me try with some different tools here. Oh, it's pretty well in there. It's been in there a little while. And I think that's what's holding it in now. Uh, I'm not sure if I tap it with a hammer or a screwdriver. If that'll uh, help it come out or if it'd be better to just try and um, pull it. I 
don't want to damage it too much. Not sure if I'll get a new one. I probably should just get a new one, but aha, oh, we got it. That wasn't too bad. So now it should fall out. I'm trying to keep an eye on this guy. Don't lose it. Probably end up trying to use it. Well, it's got a little, we'll see. I should just buy a new one. Have this one as a spare. Let's see, I got, let's see. This washer's coming off now. What else do I need to take off here? What am I missing? I got that bolt, I got that bolt. I left the starter and I almost feel like I should have taken it out. Make it easier, but I'm not sure. What am I missing? I'm missing more bolts. Oh, uh, no, is that one there? No. I think I got everything. I'm sure it's just been on there a while. It almost feels like there's something else. Holding it on. It could be. Let's see if we get this out of the way a little bit. There we go. Kind of getting a mess over here. Let's see. What am I missing? Oh, what's that go to? It almost feels like there's a bolt there. No, that's the oil line. So the oil line is kind of weird. Hmm, let's see here. I wonder if it's the bearing pressed onto this. If I need to. Might need to go watch a couple more videos on this before I get out of control and do something that I regret later. But I should just start sliding off. I might need a little persuasion. Still got the washers on, but I shouldn't be holding it. be the starter hanging up on something too actually I think that's the problem I think the starter is hanging up on the swing armor frame huh I think I'm gonna have to take the starter off too it's almost what it feels like it is hitting something back there. Yeah, it feels like the swing arm or the frame, the swing arm or the frame. <laughs> All right, well, I really didn't want to take the starter out, but I'm almost thinking that's what's hanging me up now because the bearing moves, the bearing is not holding it in. The more I wiggle it around for nothing, it's probably going to make that bearing go bad. And I don't see any other way around it. So, maybe I'll do some more research, clean up this mess, and start again. <laughs>